The International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation, sometimes League of Nations Committee on Intellectual Cooperation, was an advisory organization for the League of Nations which aimed to promote international exchange between scientists, researchers, teachers, artists and intellectuals. Established in 1922, it counted such figures as Henry Bergson, Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Gonzague de Reynold and Robert A. Millikan among its members. The committee was the predecessor to UNESCO, and all of its properties were transferred to that organization in 1946. The International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation Geneva. The International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation was formally established in August 1922. Having started out with 12 members, its membership later grew to 19 individuals. The first session was held on August 1, 1922, under the chairmanship of Henry Bergson. During its lifetime, the committee attracted a variety of prominent members, for instance Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Christine Bonnevie, Jules Destry, Robert Andrews Millikan, Alfredo Rocco, Paul Painleave, Gonzague de Reynold, Jagadish Chandra Bose and Savpali Radhakrishnan. Einstein resigned in 1923, protesting publicly the committee's inefficacy. He rejoined in 1924 to mitigate the use German chauvinists made of his resignation. The body was successively chaired by Henry Bergson, 1922 to 1925; Hendrik Lawrence, 1925 to 1928. Gilbert Murray 1928 to 1939 the CC maintained a number of subcommittees e.g. museums arts and letters intellectual rights or bibliography which also worked with figures such as Bella Bartok Thomas Mann Salvador de Madariaga and Paul Valéry the CC worked closely with the International Educational Cinematographic Institute created in Rome in 1928 by the Italian government under Mussolini. The last session took place in 1939, but the CC was only formally dissolved in 1946, like the League of Nations. The International Institute of Intellectual Cooperation Paris. In order to support the work of the Commission in Geneva, the organization was offered assistance from France to establish an executive branch, the International Institute of Intellectual Cooperation IIIC, in Paris in 1926. However, the IIIC had an autonomous status and was almost only financed by the French government. It maintained relations with the League's member states, which established national commissions for intellectual cooperation and appointed delegates to represent their interests at the Institute in Paris. While being an international organization, each of the IIIC's three successive directors was French. Julien Lucaire, 1926 to 1930. Henry Bonnet, 1931 to 1940. Jean-Jacques Mayou, 1945–1946, from 1926 to 1930; Alfred Zimmern, the well-known British classicist and a pioneering figure in the discipline of international relations, served as the IIIC's deputy director. As a result of the Second World War, the institute was closed from 1940 to 1944. It reopened briefly from 1945 to 1946. 
When it closed for good in 1946, UNESCO inherited its archives and some parts of its mission.